Today I have such a hilarious question. This question requires creativity and stupidity. You will see both elements as we work through it. All right, 10 cos theta plus 13 cos half theta equals five. This is really unfortunate because you either need to rewrite cos theta in terms, sorry, cos half theta in terms of cos theta, which is literally, I don't know. Or you need to write cos theta in terms of cos half theta, which you can do, but it's a bit of a brain stretch. And you will end up writing it in terms of cos squared half theta, which then you can see ends up as a quadratic. Okay, so we begin. All right. All right. First thing, I'm going to remind you of this identity, the double angle for cos. So cos 2 theta equals cos squared minus sine squared. Okay, actually, you know what? We could really write it as um, 2 cos squared theta minus 1. That would work out. But the reason that I'm not going to write it as that is because I need to explain to you why this is a helpful fun fact. Okay, so I'm going to erase that and also this, and we're going to go back to this fun identity. All right, now here's the creative bit, the first creative bit. If I rewrite this formula as cos theta, what I'm pretending is theta is actually two half thetas, okay? This is a double angle formula, two somethings, where theta is something. So I can also think of theta as two half thetas, okay? So it's really cause of two half thetas. So that makes it a double angle formula, and I can still use it. Now, Using the identity that we have, cos 2 theta equals cos squared theta minus sine squared theta, it would follow that cos theta equals cos squared half theta minus sine squared half theta, okay? Because whatever you have here, I've got two thetas here, I have one theta here and I have one theta here, or half of it. I have a whole theta here and I have half of it here and half of it here, okay? So all I have to really do is philosophically think of two thetas as two thetas and therefore one theta equals two half thetas. Perfect. Okay, well, this is really going to be helpful. The reason is that I need another pen. Let's do hmm, purple, okay. The reason is that in the question I've got cos theta, and here I've got an expression for cos theta, right? And I want to change my cos theta into something that contains cos half theta. I have cos squared half theta, okay? Isn't that fun? So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make cos squared half theta the subject. But before I do that, I'm gonna get rid of this sine squared half theta, and here's how I'm gonna do it, okay? I'm going to note, I'm going to use another identity. This might not come as a surprise to many of you, but, you know, it's just fun to show all of these things. Okay, we, are, we can note that sine squared something plus cos squared something equals 1. Okay, fine. It follows from that that sine squared something plus cos squared something equals one. My something could be anything, okay? So therefore, therefore, I can make sine squared half theta equal to one minus cos squared half theta. Okay, so I'm gonna write that out. My lovely red pen, okay. So, Therefore, sine squared half theta 
equals 1 minus cos squared half theta. Now this enables me to get rid of that sine half squared half theta, okay? And I can rewrite cos over here in terms of cos squared half theta only, okay? And that's really going to help my equation. Let us take a moment to look at the equation again because I feel like now would be a good time to do that, okay? So I've got 10 cos theta, which I want to rewrite in terms of cos squared half theta plus 13 cos half theta equals five. If I rewrite my cos theta in terms of cos squared half theta, that's like x squared. Then my cos half squared is, half theta is like x, and I can move the five over to be minus five, and then I can use a quadratic. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my expression for cos theta and rewrite it in a lovely purple. Let me do that now. Okay, let us choose purple, let us commence. Okay, and cos theta equals cos squared half theta is still fine, minus, I need to replace this sine squared half theta with this business. Okay, so minus one minus cos squared half theta. That would be better. Okay. So let us make more room for the maths and let us do more maths. I need to clean this up. So cos theta equals co cos half squared, cos squared half theta minus minus cos squared half theta is actually two cos squared half thetas. Mm -hmm. Cos squared half thetas minus one, okay? So that's what I'm gonna replace that with. Now, the more, um, the more enthusiastic mathematicians amongst you may have recognized this as a consequence of this little fun fact that I'm about to put in lime green because I can. Okay, um, cos two theta, cos 2 theta equals 2 cos squared theta minus 1, okay? This is actually a consequence of that, but I didn't want to just tell you that without explaining why, okay? So I've got two thetas here. I've got half of them here. I have one theta here. I have half of them here. That's it, okay? So, oh my goodness. This purple thing in the box is how I'm going to rewrite my cos theta, and I'm going to start the question from the beginning. If we are happy with the thing in the purple box, the purple thing in the purple box, we may start the question knowing that fun fact. Okay, so let's go back. 10 cos theta plus 13 cos half theta equals 5. Let us write that out. I've used all the most fun colours. It's really going to annoy me now. Um, hmm. Do the question in light blue. Okay, so 10 cos theta plus 13 cos half theta equals 5. That's my question. I now know that cos theta equals, let me just show you again, go up slightly, cos theta equals that big monstrosity. <laughs> equals 2 cos squared half theta minus 1, close bracket. All I've done is substitute in the purple expression for cos theta into my question for cos theta. That's it. Plus 13 cos half theta. Then I'm going to move the 5 over in preparation for the ridiculous part of the question, which is going to involve... The quadratic formula. Why would you torture a person into doing this and then require the quadratic formula? It's beyond me. But anyway, okay. I need to let x equal cos half theta, obviously. So here we go. Um, let x equal cos half theta. Therefore, I have 
10 outside of 2x squared minus 1 plus 13x minus 5 equals 0. And that's where I'm up to in my wonderful question. All right. All right. Let us, um, what do you call it, make neater maths. Okay, so I have 20x squared minus 10 minus 5 plus 13x equals 0. Move it around so that it's like in an orderly fashion. 13x minus 15 equals 0. Okay, let us make more room again. This is actually getting quite frustrating. Okay, then we require the quadratic formula which requires another color of pen. Let's see. Okay, X equals, that was not another color of pen. Oh my God, that's so rude. X equals, okay. Negative 13 plus or minus the square root of 169B squared minus four times 20, times minus 15, all over 40. Hopefully I got that right because that would be really embarrassing if I did not. All right, calculation machine, 169 plus, because there are two minuses, you can go straight to plus. So um, bracket four times 20 times um, 15 equals, ew, equals minus 13 plus or minus, the square root of 1, 3, 6, 9 over 40. Okay, let's try that for fun. Ooh, 37. Okay, so at least we have hope. Let us scroll down a bit. Okay, so it's equal to minus 13 plus or minus 37 over 40. Therefore, x equals... either 3 over 5 or x equals negative 13 minus 37 minus 5 on 4. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to give you a domain at this point. Okay, because we're now at the point where we have um, but x equals cos half theta. x equals cos half of theta for oh my bad <laughs> theta <laughs> um three sixty because we're gonna work in degrees because um it's a really gross question but there's no reason why we couldn't work in radians I suppose. Um, so because we're working with um, half theta instead of regular theta, um, we need to change the domain. So we divide everything by 2. So the domain for theta on 2 is 180, zero, between 0 and 180. So therefore, x equals cos half theta. Therefore, um, cos half theta equals um, 3 over 5 or cos half theta theta equals minus 5 over 4. Oh, exhausting question. Okay. All right. Okay, so I have half theta equals 53 degrees to the nearest degree or math error. Because the range of cos is between minus 1 and 1. Okay, so we cannot have that. All right. So if I've got this solution, I then need to um, check whether it falls within my modified domain, which it does. That's fine. Um, and then I need to times by 2. So theta equals 106 degrees. Um, and that is 
within the allowable original domain of zero is less than or equal to theta is less than or equal to 360. Now, the reason that I did not do half theta is also equal to 360 minus 53 is because my modified domain only went up to 180. So I'm only considering quadrant one where cos is positive in this case. So quadrant one, not quadrant four. Okay, so that's why I only get one answer. And amazingly, according to the textbook, we are correct. Oh, except they said give the answer to the nearest minute and um, I don't have time for minutes. I only have time for degrees today. All right, that was a creative and ridiculous question. I'm glad that you were able to come along for the ride. It's very pink. I enjoyed it. Farewell.